Matrix. It's a normal okay. pre-flight check for Captain Tim Burt and Colonel John LaMontagne. Start number one. A short flight from Robbins Air Force Base in Georgia for takeoff. Runway heading. to Joint Take Base one. Charleston on C-17 plane 88198. But this flight is a bit different because it marks the three millionth flight hour for the C-17 fleet. And that's flying that's done by our United States Air Force and our eight partner nations around the world since the first flight, first aircraft that showed up here in July of 1993. A ceremonial single hour flight to mark the milestone. Only a tiny percentage of the hours logged flying over war-torn areas and towns hit by natural disasters. This flight really represents three million hours of making lives better. But every time this airplane flies somewhere, it carries a very, very special cargo. And that cargo is hope for those at the other end. An experienced pilot Colonel Frederick Bohm has had for 21 years. When we were doing humanitarian airdrops over Afghanistan, dropping food to the Afghan people. And it just goes to show you that even though it's a military aircraft, uh, this airplane brings a lot of hope and a lot of uh, uh, food and nourishment to anybody in need. A feeling shared by everyone who's part of the C-17 fleet. Master Sergeant Johnny Bartosh, a C-17 loadmaster, never gets tired of this job. It's still, uh, it puts a little bit of a chill down your spine. You, uh, that's what you live for. So when you're doing what you've actually trained to do, uh, that's when the thrill comes on and, and uh, you know it's time to earn, earn the bread and butter. It's a hero's welcome at Joint Base Charleston. Three million hours in the can and millions more to come because there are no days off for the C-17 Globemaster III Worldwide Fleet. We fly round the clock, and like I said, the sun never sets on that detail there. It's all the time, all the time.